Hey, Monte, you guys are down 14 with four minutes left in the third. And, and obviously everything flipped from there. What flipped and what are you guys telling yourselves in the huddle to, to not get too deflated and let the crowd get back into it? Uh, just keep running our stuff. Um, we knew their team who sometimes get caught at a time, so we had to capitalize right away. But even when we came back, you know, we went up, we hit a big three, might have went up seven. I come to the bench, we all celebrating. I'm, no, it's not over. You know, we all got in a huddle, it ain't over. We knew they could score so quickly. So um, we just tried to stay resilient, stay together, and uh, let the chips fall where they may. We didn't want to come in here and lay down and, you know, put the chances in the game seven, um, you know, in Denver. We wanted to finish the job and um, gain that experience on the road. Haiti Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Tay, I watched the post-game interview on Altitude with Vic, and before you could really even answer any of the questions, Will and Coach came over, and they were hugging you, and Will kind of got in the mic a little bit and said, like, what did I tell you? And you said, get 20. And can you just take me through that conversation and when that happened and how much it helps you in your game, having the confidence of the whole team behind you? Uh, it's big. Um, you know, for this fan, uh, you know, during the series, you know, everybody was telling me, just be aggressive. It, it makes everything easier for, you know, everyone when you be in attack mode. So hearing that really, you know, helped me in this game five and game six situation. Um, but Will, you know, he, he talked to me during the whole game, him, Jamal, PJ, and tell me what they see, you know, and I think I had like seven, eight points at the time. And he was like, yo, you get 20, we gonna win. And I was like, all right, uh, I just play. I was just playing. Sometimes we will say stuff, and I kind of brush off, but I was just like, all right, I'm going to keep attacking. I did it. And then he just came up to me after the game, like I told you, you know. So, but just like hearing that means a lot. Sean Keeler, Denver Post. Hey, Tay, congrats. You know, uh, Michael talked about the, how deep you guys are and how experienced you guys are in all these situations. Can you talk a little bit about uh, MPJ's first quarter and kind of how it was kind of a tale of a two halves for him? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, you know, I mean, he's a special, phenomenal talent. You know, we all seen that guy who all he needs to see is one go in. Uh, if that, you know, he's always hot, ready to shoot. And, uh, you know, he, he kept us in the game, got us going. You know, without him, I think that first quarter is a little tougher and not as close. So um, the way he played in the first half was magnificent. Matt Moore, the Action Network. Monte, as the series went on, you got a lot more aggressive in pick and roll, attacking especially as Nurkic was forced to stay with Joker. Was there something you guys saw in film? Was that a message from the coaching staff? Is that something that you saw and recognized? Like, hey, I've got to attack more. What was the adjustment? At what point did you realize that that was an opportunity for you guys? Uh, game, maybe game five, game four. Um, we was on film. We was just watching with the coaches and things. They just like, you know, they're not taking a body off Nicola. We got to step up. And they go in there, shoot it with confidence. And then I took that, you know, I was having people text me, people in my ear telling me, you get tired of hearing, you know, be aggressive, be aggressive, be aggressive. So I just kind of just had my mindset like, all right, uh, I'm about to just turn it on. And then game five, I was able to, you know, just play downhill, get guys shots and also be aggressive for myself. And, you know, the net last two games, I was the same way. So um, we have to make it a little easier on the Nikola. You know, we ask a lot from him. From him. He goes out there and produces every night. But, you know, he needs some guys to step up and help him also. So I um, took that, you know, on to as a challenge. Jacob Toby, Nine News Denver. Hey, Tay, after um, game five, you talked about, you know, having nightmares after your first um, playoff games. And, and how validating is it for you to come up in the clutch these last two games and, and – Big moments. Um, you know, it feels good, man. It's something like, you know, it's a process. You know, a lot of getting a lot of bash from, you know, uh just fans and stuff, you know, two years ago, just kind of just keep that hunger in me, just make me want to go harder in the gym always. Um, you know, I, that was a tough time for me in my life. Um, but I learned from it, moved on, lived from it, and was ready for this moment and um was able to step up tonight. You know, we got a lot of work to do. Um we're not done, you know, we're not satisfied. You know, we won the series, but, you know, it's not over. We want to achieve more. And, uh, you know, I just got to, you know, stay aggressive and, you know, just keep having fun with the game and, you know, doing that. Kristen Peak, Yahoo Sports. 
Hey, Monte, um, you had 28 points last game, 22 tonight. Just tell me, where did this next gear come from in the playoff mode? I mean, you're contributing excellent minutes off the bench for this Denver team. I mean, I mean, I've always been, you know, a player who can score. Um, but, you know, I facilitate, you know, that's me running the team and that's my job is to get us in offense and things like that. You know, I just you know, had to, when you hear it from your teammates and coaches, just be aggressive. You got to change that gear and, you know, hit that other level and just show, you know, you're not just a one dimensional guy. And, um, you know, we work out hard on shots and things like that. It's the perfect moment to display it. Hostile environment, you know, against a great team. So um, that next year, just come from the playoffs and always having that experience, you know, two playoffs under my belt already. Um, so just knowing how to attack. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Monte, you guys defended the three-point line progressively better as that game went on. I think Portland was shooting better than 50% from three at halftime, and they go four for 17 in the second half. Did, did anything change, or was it just a bit more tenacity and maybe some good fortune? Uh, it was just do or die. Uh, we knew, you know, we went into this game not – you know, trying to go back to Denver. You know, it was a situation where it's like, yo, let's not just know this game six. Let's play like a game seven. So when things got tight, we like, yo, we right here. If we keep we keep knocking on that tree, keep knocking on the tree. Eventually, it was gonna fall and be in our favor. And we were able to get some stops. Only allow fourteen points in a set in a fourth quarter was big time. So that's what we did. Ashley Neville, Mile High Sports. Hey, Monte, congratulations. Um, what is it like to see Nikola Jokic just go off the way he does? You know, um, I know the first half uh, wasn't a big performance. Then the second half, he just took over. What's it like just kind of watching him do that? It's amazing, man. And a clutch throughout the game, just shots he make his touches. Crazy. I haven't seen nobody with no touch like that. So the way he passed the ball, you know, he's the MVP for sure, hands down. Um, it's just crazy to see, you know, a lot of people just not catching on, but, you know, I've been around this year for it now, you know, as soon as I got here, um, I was like, yo, why he don't get a lot of credit, you know, as he should, he was getting triple doubles <laughs> three years ago, you know, four years ago and doing these same plays, but I'm glad that he's now, you know, the MVP and just getting that, uh, recognition as he should, because he deserves everything that, you know, comes his way. James Hill, BNC Sports. Monte, congratulations on that victory. Uh, when you look at this Nuggets roster, you see shooters, you see rebounders, you see a little bit of everything. Uh, just talk a little bit about this Denver team that that you play for and what it's like, and and you guys are winning and moving forward. Uh, just, uh, you know, every game was different. You know, different guys just called upon to make plays. You know, and we did that. It just shows our tenacity, how tough. We are, and you know, how happy we were for each other. Um, we knew it was going to take everybody that played today, guys on the bench that even didn't play. We was going to have to be collective in this hostile environment, and we did that. But it just shows how, you know, we got a lot of veterans on this team. You know, JaVale didn't play one minute. Will didn't play one minute. Jamal didn't play one minute. PJ, but they were engaged the whole night, and it definitely helped talking us through sets and things like that. All right, Monte, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Esteban Abed. Hi, Monte. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Uh, about the experience of this team, this particular game uh, demonstrates the character and experience earned by Denver in recent years to move on to win this particular game? Yeah, I mean, uh, it definitely was a game we wanted to win. Try to get some payback, you know, that's done. Them beating us on our floor in game seven. So we had that in the back of our mind, just trying to get our league back. You know, always able to do that tonight. Felt good. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Monte.